Hello, Cindy here with Create Your Own Luck and Love, where I help women transform their hearts so that they attract and keep lasting love that resonates with them. So here I am today, and I realized something. I usually go live at 12 p.m. Pacific, and for those of you that don't know, a little personal insight, I moved to Arizona a few months ago, and Pacific fell back and Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. So I'm an hour early for you all. <laughs> anyway, so here I am. I'll make sure that I shift that on my calendar from here on out. Um, anyway, so let's get to the topic at hand. You went on a great first date yet, and you may have even, he may have even talked about a second date on the first date. So what do you do? You haven't heard from him yet. Okay. So, and it's been a few days. Okay. So here's the deal. I am, I'm going to paint a couple of scenarios for you and I'm going to give you support on what to do next. You know, the number one thing when it comes to dating and relating is looking at it from all angles and not being attached to the outcome. So, and, and that can be difficult, you know, as you're on this journey, I totally get it. And it works really well if you're just, if you go, you have a good time, you're not attached to the outcome. This could be the first time I see this guy, it could be the last, but here is some things to do. So let's just say you went on a really amazing first date and you two, you know, had great conversation. He talked about how he was excited to see you again. He talked about future plans, certain things he'd like to do. That's a, those are really good signs, by the way. Those are what I call green lights. <laughs> um, those are good signs that he's interested and he definitely like to 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 see you again and and potentially you know who knows what but he definitely would like to see you again so that's one um two there's you know there's another let's just say let's talk about that scenario first so let's say that happened and you you know it's been a few days you haven't heard anything from him how do you handle that and you know with so much different dating advice out there it's really hard to figure out what it is to do so here's what i recommend and let me just give you some background on you don't know what is going on in this person's life. You don't know if they had a family emergency, if they're travel, maybe they're traveling, maybe there's certain things happening for them in their life. So we don't know that, right? The next thing you get to look at is men are insecure too. You know, believe it or not, they are. They're insecure too. And oftentimes when we're feeling, you know, vulnerable, insecure in the moment, we can, you know, we can oftentimes start to, how do I say it? Um, we can start to, you know, project our feelings like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I said something wrong. Maybe it wasn't that, you know, maybe I was imagining things. It wasn't that great or I had bad breath, blah, blah, blah. I'm here to tell you it's none of that. If he was really engaged with you, you felt like you had a good time and he had a good time. There are very high chances that he did. Okay. So green light moments are happening, but yet you haven't heard anything from him. Okay, so what I recommend doing is waiting, giving him plenty of space to actually reach out to you. And depending on what's happening, what you know is happening in his life, whether that be maybe he had a little bit of travel, maybe there's something else, give him plenty of space. So if he hasn't reached out to you and I'd say, um, 
or if nothing's going on, and I would say three days because what we want to do is we want to continue the tension, the momentum, right? Um, you can reach out and say, um, send them a text and say, gosh, I, I had a really great time with you um, the other night. Um, I look forward to seeing you again. You know, I look forward to doing it again or, you know, seeing you again. Either one is really good. And then see what happens. Give him space to respond. Because if he starts getting in his head, like, well, maybe she's not that interested. Maybe, um, maybe it was something I did or say. Maybe he didn't have enough green lights from you. So that can happen. Now, I'm going to give you the second scenario. You had a really great time on a date. Maybe you spent, you know, a lot of time together. You were laughing. Um, you felt like things went really well. He didn't say anything about a second date. You know, he's like, hey, it's great. Um, you know, maybe there was a little text exchange afterwards. And uh, there was a text exchange afterwards. And, and that was it. But yet... You had a really great time. So the, you know, this, the, in your, in your head, you're like, did I stay too long? Did I, you know, did I have too much to drink or, you know, any of those things that can pop up in your mind? Did I talk too much? Um, that can happen too. So what you want to do again, to do the same thing, to solidify it, because, you know, relationships typically now this isn't always the case because sometimes life happens the universe has other plans and you guys circle back around but um and you also don't know if he's you know an ex came back in the picture you just never know what's happening with people right so the biggest thing you want to do assuming that he had a nice time too also with the dating climate the way that it is there's apps there's uh, you know online dating you can have a date every night a week of the night Ugh, i can't talk every night of the week if you really really want to so that being said um you know you get to stick yourself out there and say hey um you can Put something like this together. Say, um, hey, I, I had a great time with you the other night. I'm still laughing about blank. Hope, look forward to seeing you again. Again, you, what you're doing is you're taking him back to the memory of spending time with you, and he pictures it and he feels it. And he's going to be like, oh, yeah, she was really great. I should ask her out again. He has the green light from you to get together. So he will likely do it. Now, here's some things that I will share with you that if they did go on during the day, there's, you know, they could possibly be red flags or a reason not to go out on a second date. So you guys got really hot and heavy and you got intimate with them on the first date. That, I would say, is a big no-no. Do people do it? Do they have successful relationships? Yes. It's like one in a thousand. It rarely ever happens. So... I don't recommend that if you're really looking for something real. The next thing is, did you, you know, there's length of time. I don't necessarily recommend if it's a first meeting, if it's a first meeting from online, staying longer than an hour, hour and a half, two hours max if it's going really, really well. Um, and then what I would yeah, I, I recommend you trying to wrap that date up first. That builds what I call tension. Tension is super important when it comes to building attraction. That's a big attraction builder. So that 
Um, the second thing is, is that, you know, not the second thing, the third thing is, is you want to make sure you're really putting your best foot forward. So you want, I say to drink maximum, typically one drink if you're drinking a cocktail on a first meeting. One, because um, you want to make sure that you have all your facilities, you know, faculties together, your head straight. You know, if you want to drink a little bit more in the future when you're in a relationship, that could be different. Maybe you have a wild night, right? But the point being is that you want to make sure that you're conducting yourself in a way that is authentic, that's true to you, that's confident, and the thing is, is you have a great time. So you had a great connection. I recommend doing those things and then seeing what happens next. Now, the next thing to do is if you, once you send that message, if you don't hear anything, then you just let the bird fly free and look at it like, okay, I had a really great time. This is just momentum to know that I am going to have a great time again. I'm going to meet more, more new and interesting people. And that's part of the reason why I say date multiple people. Get yourself getting to know multiple people so that um, you're not as focused in on one person. Um, let me know if you guys have experienced this where you had a really great first date and then there's just this weird limbo in between the first and second date. I'd love to hear what happened. Um, post below, post in the comments section. If this helped you, let me know. I would love to hear that. If you know a woman that needs to hear about this, please do me a favor and share the love. If you're on IGTV, hi, good to see you guys. Would love to hear your comments below on YouTube. Hello, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe so you can um, get updated on all the new videos that I have coming out weekly. Sending you guys so much love. Have an amazing day. Mwah.